we clap for Jesus. You may be seated. We, we thank God for his mercy and his favor that he has given us another day. Another chance to be blessed, to enjoy his presence. Remember that we are getting closer to Good Friday. Today is Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And if you know the importance of this Friday, it's not like any other Friday. Yes, it is history of the Bible, but in reality, we enjoy the victory. So prepare your heart that Jesus has already taken over everything that has to do with your life, including your battle. Don't look at how many people are fighting you, how many people are against you. One with Jesus is majority. Do not be afraid of their number. Those who are rejecting you, doubting you, no one can fight the truth and win the battle. No. It is the truth to fight and win. Are you worried? You are not worried. But something is punking you inside your heart. Hmm? Something is what? Disturbing you. Inside you. Let's go to the book of Luke chapter 12. Verse 22. This message is not for everyone, but for the children of God who understand life beyond the pain. This is verse 22. Then Jesus said to his disciples, Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life. What you eat, or about your body, what you wear. Do not worry about your life. What is life? If I ask you this question, what is life? Hmm? What is life? Ha, ah, it's like I'm alone here. Jesus said, do not worry about what? what you eat or what you put on. That is Jesus talking to you. I'm asking you that what is life? No one is answering me. Verse 23. For life is more, more than what? Food. When you eat, you swallow it. It is no longer food but waste. Life is more than food, and the body is more than clothes. And these two things are the things which Satan is using to disturb our life. We do not understand that life is not food. Life is not clothes. No. Rich people are living this world every day. If it is money, if it is clothes, they have got plain suits. The money is there in different, you know, uh, accounts. Listen to 24. Consider the lovings. They do not sow or reap. They have no storeroom or a barn. Yet, God feed them. And how much more variable are you more than these birds? The birds of the air, the animals. Yes, you can answer me that because animals eat grass. Who, who made them to be eating grasses? Is it not the same God who made you to eat in Shima? Sausage. He, he give that, you know, a taste in your mouth so that when you put sausage in your mouth, you enjoy it. 
The same way the animals are enjoying when they are eating grasses, there's a taste which made them to eat more. What am I trying, I mean, to, 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 to share with you is this. The giver of life knows what you need more than you think yourself. What you need, he knows. The one who made you to be a human being, he knows that Mulenga need, a, need this, Mulenga need a trouser, Mulenga need food, Mulenga need that. But if I were to be like my whole life would be on my knees, thinking about that thing that I need, then where is life now? There is no life in me. Satan will use that thing to bring me down. Jesus was talking to his disciples. Muisaka manetio mwala di anoku fuala. Alebe boku tira ine nomba epon yuku chila pari fionse ifimu fua efi akuria ifi aku fuala ted feelinga nena ine. Nari chila pafi aku fuala nari chila pafi akuria. Why are you worried? Your problem may not be food or clothes. There are so many things that are disturbing our thinking. Each and every time you are trying to ignore them, they will click in your mind. Remember this issue. Remember that problem. Remember that. Replace that problem with Jesus. Then once you do that, you forget about that problem. Before you know it, Jesus has already solved that problem. Because you leave that battle for him. Are you there, people of God? Worry cannot make you succeed in life. Rather than giving more room to your enemy. Who is your enemy? Is the devil. Is it in relationship? A brother or a sister is about to disappoint you. The people that you trust, the people that you love. They don't see any good things in your life. Worry no more. Leave them for Jesus. He's there now for you. Leave them for Jesus. You handle it. You give all to that brother, to that sister. At the end of the day, what you are getting is disappointment. Leave that person for Jesus. He knows how to handle a situation like that one. If you keep on thinking about that situation, you, you are not going to be, you know, yourself again. You develop headache, depression, all kinds of nightmare. You develop insomnia. You can't sleep again because you are thinking about something which you cannot handle as a human being. Jesus said, life is more than food. He's telling you that I am more than what you know you need in the flesh. If you know the man who is talking to you, the man who is in your midst, I'm talking about Jesus. All these problems that are disturbing you will not be there. You will replace them with Jesus. There is no situation Jesus cannot handle. That's why he said, do not worry about food and clothes. He knows what he was talking about. We celebrate Easter every year, but we don't know the benefit of Easter. We took it as you know as a tradition thing. Or one of the events that will come every year. No. There are so many benefits to those who believe in Jesus. The same way he was talking to his disciples when he was here on earth, physically, he can still talk to you by the power of the Holy Ghost. He can minister to you. Why are you worried about this problem? Why are you worried about this sickness? Why are you worried because, you know, there's no food problems all over? I am more than food. If you see me, you see solution. They have told you that this sickness, you cannot live, you know, <laughs> beyond two years, only six months. You are worried. You want to sell everything. Ask God, is it true you are going to live before six months or after? If you see Jesus on your side, he is life. He is what? He is life. Leave that battle for him. Stop worrying yourself for something which you cannot change. 
Even if it is your child, your, your daughter, your son, your wife, your husband, they are giving you tough time. Leave them for God. Because if you keep on complaining, the only problem I have is this, is that are you solving that problem? No, you are just you know, reminding yourself that there is a problem. There is a problem. Are you telling me that your future is problem? Your life is problem? No. Problems are there for a while. They are not there for permanent. No. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. If you lead Psalms 147, because of time, verse 8, 9, 10, you understand that God is there. If he can provide for the birds of the air, he can provide for you because he created you in his own image according to his likeness. And it was you that he gave the authority and power to look after all that he created. Praise the Lord. Listen to uh, uh, 28. Is it 28? 27? 27. 27. Consider how the wild flowers grow. They do not labor or spin. Yet, I tell you, not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. Solomon was a rich man. Very, you know, wealth. He had a lot of money. I can't talk about the number of wives. I'm talking about the man which he had. But the Bible says that he cannot even compare himself to the flowers, the beauty of the flowers. The type of clothes he was wearing cannot be compared to the way flowers are shining. If you go outside, more especially where there is water, you see flowers, you know, are looking very nice, shining. If God can design a flower like that one, what more you? He created you in his own image. And God cannot preach the word of God using the flower. It is you human beings he chose. He said you are my temple. You are my disciples. It is communication which is not there between you and him. You trust your mind more than the one who gives you the mind. Because you cannot understand the end of your problem without the Spirit of God telling you that you will be in this problem for these days. After this, the way out has come. It is your mind telling you, using experience what uh, you witness somewhere, you say, it happens to that person. So the end will be like that person. No, you are a child of God. Consider how the wild flowers grow they do not labor. No. It is God who said, you, you'll be people. If God can, you know, beautify a flower, what more you who are carrying his own image? You are more important than the flower. So make no mistake. Stop worrying yourself. No, you are just creating another problem with your health. There are some of you who cannot sleep without a panadol because of a headache. If that is how God can cross the grass of the fields, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into what? The fire. How much more will you clothe you? You of little faith. This is 28. Let's say, I'm going to go to Africa, 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 I'm going Worry no more if you believe in Jesus. Anything God enshrines in your destiny, as long as it is part of your destiny, enemies will come to try and disturb your mind. Witches and wizards will come to try and do one or two things. 
Bear it in mind. No one can stop the hand of God upon your life. They can stop anyone, but they cannot stop the hand of God upon your life. This is the word from the mouth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Worry no more. Listen to 29. And do not set your heart on what you eat or drink. Do not worry about it. Are you telling me that Jesus, you know, Taish, what to have for every day? Like we are having a drought in Zambia. Are you telling me that he's not aware that there's a drought in Zambia? He knows. Who is the solution? It is the same God. Even if we say irrigation, whatever and ever, he can still take water. But if we trust him that he is there, he knows that we need water, we need food, he will provide water for you. He will provide water for you. Look at the journey of the Israelites. In the wilderness, there was no liver, only rocks. He just told Moses to say, can you carry a stick? Hit in that rock. Water will come out. He did it. Water started coming out of him. He is life. He is what? There is no life outside Jesus. Make no mistake. Those who are happy today, tomorrow they will start crying. Those who are enjoying power today, tomorrow they will start crying. Outside Jesus, there is permanent joy. Inside Jesus, there is eternal joy. So all these problems that we are facing, he is the answer. Jesus is the answer. Stop worrying yourself. Okay, continue worrying about me. You will die with depression. Finish it your wasangam. Leave it for God. He knows how to handle all these problems. He's a God of nature. That sickness, that problem, if you let, you know, God all might be the one to be in charge over your life. But now come today, say, Jesus. See the way we celebrate, more especially a Sunday, everyone will be dancing. He has risen. He has risen. Just after Sunday, Jesus is no longer there. Only the problem. Yeah, to Adiko Easter. Don't be in a way wrong to now inch to be. Now, let me know about you and pepper that in media problem. We are poor footing in Tampoku for so a panacha to do. I've had Nala Fekumush. Mubuch Tench. If truly you know Jesus, the hand has come to your problem. If you know him, he's the only one who understands your pain. Remember, I said, do not worry about what you eat. Or set your heart on things that, you know, disturb your life. For the pagans runs after all such things. And your father knows that you need them. This is 30. For the pagans runs after all such things. What are those things? Money. Name them. But Jesus knows that you need these things. That is the reason why Jesus was introduced to the world. Is to solve our problem. Jesus came to do what? To solve our problem. Don't see him the way you see our leaders here on earth. No. He is the problem solver. Okay, if you keep on worrying every day. The scripture is there. He's saying... You cannot even have not even a, a single hour to your life through your worry. And then you continue thinking about your problem. What are you gaining out of that problem? When we see Jesus standing like this, even in poverty, you feel like a, you are a rich man. Because Jesus is wealth. His life. That's why I was asking, what is life? When you see Jesus in your life, 
you have everything that you need, physically and spiritually. The assurance of your protection is there. But if you need money without Jesus, I don't know how we enjoy that money. Because Satan will not let you enjoy that money. You start bringing what? Problems. So, like Ellen, you say, send of yen. Po mwa miro kutontonka nya pama problems. Mwa sofaya nga mu kutontonka nya. Muru fia fio tulo. Nga bush kunga mwa mbo kutontonka nya pafi michitiri obo mwa chetekele. Obo mwa ishiba atiba nenu. Ba michita disappointi. Nga mwa buka mwa mbo kutontonka nya. So, tuwale mfuwa nananangu. Efi achitep. Ta mwa lale. Edek will come. Insomnia will come. What are you getting out of that? The man Jesus came to handle, you know, a situation like that one. So stop worrying yourself. Tapari o muinga chinjale sanga tamu chinjishu. Tamuwa isha po kufasta. Mwabwela mwa sanga problem wapo hivi. Nga nifuwa ba njine fuwa fasta no kutuma waku pumaida ine dewa break. Can you fast again? Mwafuma kufasti mwa mkulaka. Where is the Holy Spirit? Embrace Jesus. Allow him to be part of your life. He is life. He was talking to his disciples. He said, do not worry about what you eat or what you wear. Life is more important than food. Worry every day. You become vulnerable. You don't know what is next. So, mleki okusakamana. Ni problem unshumkweti. You can't say it, but your heart. Jesus knows your problem. So, leave it for God. He knows how to handle that situation. Thank you.